εις το όνομα του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Ιού Πνεύματος. Αμήν. Blessed Holy Monday. I want to share with you a very special sacred experience for me personally. I am standing in front of the St. George Antiochian Church in Bridgeville, Pennsylvania, approximately 10 miles north of All Saints. And I'm standing in their cemetery because today, by the grace of God, I have received the blessing to choose my burial plot. There's a little story with this. I have asked Metropolitan Savas and the blessing of the, his leadership and that of my family that when the time comes to be buried, I would like to be buried at our new Metropolis property in uh, South Strabane Township. And I received that blessing and I'm very honored. Why the new property? Because with great humility, I bow my head unto the Lord to say that about six plus years ago, God touched my heart. And at a Metropolis Council meeting, I brought up that there should be strong consideration to move the Metropolis to Washington County out of the city of Pittsburgh. It was met with a lot of laughter. The following year, I did it again. And then His Eminence chose at the clergy laity assembly at Holy Cross to put a committee together to research this idea. Lo and behold, fast forward, we have almost 20 acres secured through kind acts of love and uh, blessings from parishioners of all saints in cooperation with Washington County commissioners, the blessings of His Eminence and the Metropolis and the Archdiocese. And we hope soon in 2022 to begin groundbreaking and construction. In the meantime, I don't know if I'll be here, but I know one thing that because God touched my heart, I like to make that my physical resting place. So in the meantime, seeing that I might be going much earlier, what happens? And here's where St. George Bridgeville comes in. Father Jason Delvito, they were most kind as a parish to gift me this burial property before me to where I'm standing that if it happens soon or before the opening of the cemetery uh, in South Strabane, this will be my first resting place. If for some reason I can't be moved to the new spot, I'm very happy to remain here. St. George Church, St. George Cemetery, between Bridgeville, Washington, PA, can't be any better by God's grace. I'm really happy, you know, when you go buy something, and I'm not talking about Snickers bar, <laughs> I'm talking about car, house, um, airplane tickets, you, you're really happy. And I'm happy today because God's putting things in order. And I'm honored to be in an Orthodox cemetery. And I'm not afraid when I look down and, and I look around at the beautiful life examples that have been laid to physical rest here, waiting for the resurrection, that I participated in this event. We can't be afraid of death, my friends. This is the whole problem with society from top to bottom, from coronavirus, COVID-19, and everything we experienced last year. I'm really wondering if we've done our responsibility as ecclesial leaders, as parents of Christian homes, have we taught our children, our loved ones, 
how to live, what it means to not fear death. We do a lot of things at the time of death to cover it up from usually unnecessary embalming, makeup, putting on jewelry, getting hair done, nails, etc. And we've always heard, oh, look at Aunt Mary, she looks so beautiful. What is beautiful about death is its reality that it is not an end, but the door toward eternal life. Because Christ conquered death by death. So we should be living, do I dare say, well, the word zombie doesn't sound good. But let me just say, if we die, before we die, when we die, we will not die. When we die, before we die. When we die, we will not die. Which means what? Die to our selfishness. Die to material things. That our love should be unconditional without strings. To be like the birds of the air. But with souls of little children as God has told us to be. Unless you're like one of these little ones. You will not inherit the kingdom. So I'm asking you with great humility, not just telling you where I'll be, God willing, in the flesh or rotting flesh, but join me in a prayer as this property, this section here, is being dedicated so that when it is time, I will be able to rest in a blessed spot. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. As a liberator of prisoners and a protector of those in poverty, physician of the sick and defender of ruling kings, O George, triumphant great martyr, intercede with Christ our God that our souls may be saved. By the teachings of divine faith, you adorned well the Church of Christ by becoming the Apostle's eldest follower. And having sown the instructions holy, you concluded your fight with martyrdom. O Cosmos glorious, intercede with Christ our God to grant us a great mercy. Have mercy upon us, O God. According to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for all pious and orthodox Christians. Again, we pray for Archbishop Savas. Lord, have mercy. Honoring Bishop. Thomas, Father Jason and the community of St. George. Lord, have mercy. We pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray, Lord, that this earth that you have given us to be our physical home may prepare us for eternal life by receiving your unworthy servant at a proper time, George the unworthy priest, and to place me in a ground where others may gather around in prayer and thanksgiving to rejoice over the gifts, Lord, that you have given so that all of us may eat fruit that bears salvation. Lord, have mercy. Grant your mercy, O Lord, as we place this holy water upon this ground Remember, Lord, all who have fallen asleep at this cemetery. May Remember, Lord, our deceased loved ones and pious Orthodox Christian parishioners. 
Grant your mercy, Lord, for without you we have no hope. So son kiriye ton la on su kev lo yi son ingli ro no mi an su ni kas tis vasi levsi katai var var on toru menos keto son filo eto via tu stavru su polite ma. Your church having adorned herself with the blood of all your martyrs in the world, as with the finest linen and purple robe, through them cries out to you, O Christ our God. Send down your compassion upon your people, grant peace to your commonwealth, and to our souls your great mercy. Diev kon don agion pateron imon, kiri e su Christe o Theos, eleison ke sosen imas. Amen. Remember, don't fear death. Live in Christ Jesus. <laughs>